Hello and welcome back. I'm Tavleen from Excel Plugins and in this video we're discussing short codes. Now what are short codes? Short codes are basically lines of code that allow you to embed different elements of finale like the countdown timer, the counter bar and custom message on different pages. So let us say that you're creating a dedicated blog post to inform people about an ongoing campaign in your store. Now you want to be able to embed the countdown timer in the, on that blog post so that you can share the deadline of the, of the offer with your readers, right? So short codes allow you to do exactly that. You can embed different elements of finale within uh, dedicated landing pages or on blog post pages, right? So they go beyond the native WooCommerce product pages. So that is what short codes allow you to do. Let us explore them. So when you click on generate short codes, uh, well, you see this box here and for every uh, element that you can embed, uh, you have a short code corresponding to that. So like this one is for countdown timer, inventory bar and custom text, right? Uh, now let us say that you have applied certain rules to your campaign. So let's say you've specifically said that uh, this countdown timer is limited for product pages of uh, let's say the albums category right now you have uh, specifically said that you don't want this campaign um, element uh, or this countdown timer to run elsewhere right in that case if you still want to embed the countdown timer on a blog post page or or a dedicated page well then you'll have to click uh, you'll have to say skip rules right because you want these rules to be skipped uh, so let us see. So now this is a campaign that I uh, am currently on. It's a recurring campaign starts on 2nd of November. Um, right. And uh, so the duration is one day. The pause period is uh, two days. Right. So this is a campaign which uh, we've already set up. Uh, now we're going to go here and say update. Now, once we have updated it, we can actually go and generate short code from here. So as soon as we click here, it gives us all the short codes for the for this particular campaign. So we also need skip rules functionality because uh, we have set this campaign on a specific product alone, right? But now that we're embedding it, we want to be able to embed the countdown timer. Uh, so what we're going to do is uh, simply go and select this. So this is new page, right? And I'm going to paste this here. In addition to that, I want to say skip rules. Yes. So now we've pasted this over here. We're going to update this and let me show you how it appears on the front end. Right, here we are. This is how the timer will appear, right? Uh, everything is coming from the, from the settings of the, uh, of this particular element so the countdown timer the skin uh, this text here whether it is to appear below the countdown timer or above it everything is coming from the element setting of that particular campaign uh, let us now paste another short code right so we're going to go back to generate short code and uh, let's do it for inventory bar as well so again we want uh, the skip rule condition to be turned on right uh, so we're going to do uh, skip rule yes and uh, let me also show you uh, let me also paste the last one which is for custom text and we are going to say skip rule yes again let's update this and let me refresh it for you here all right so here we are now as you can notice the countdown while the countdown timer is appearing the custom text is appearing there is no trace of the counter bar so why is it that we're not able to see the counter bar well for that uh, you will have to go here and say debug is equal to yes so what we're essentially saying is that we're telling uh, Finale to debug it for us, debug the campaign for us and help us identify where the problem is because we're not able to do it ourselves, right? So this is what it says, unable to show short code product ID given is missing or invalid. Now what you must understand is that for counter bar, we need the product ID. And the reason for that is that in addition to the campaign, it also wants to know on which product the counter bar is uh, supposed to be picked up from, right? Because associated with the campaign could be several products, but which particular product uh, of which particular product would you like to show the counter bar for? So because essentially what is counter bar doing it is visually representing the stock size right five items left seven items left so from which product would you like to pick up the stock size and display it in the front end is what it wants to know and that is why the uh, the the product id is extremely essential when it comes to uh, printing the counter bar so we're going to go and look for the product id 
all right so here we are now here in the rule builder the product id is 482 that is the product that we would like to show here so uh, so we're going to say product uh, underscore id is equal to 482 all right let's update this and see how it appears in the front end now right here we are and that's it this is the counter bar appearing so we've entered the uh, entered the id and now the counter bar is appearing so that is how you can use short codes uh, of course it's not just an intuitive functionality but it's also very useful right especially with the debug feature where it makes troubleshooting uh, extremely uh, easy and also very intuitive right so these are all the short codes uh, you simply have to uh, go to your campaign and select generate short codes and you will be able to see all your short codes for different elements right here and don't forget to do skip rules so that even if you have set any rules locally for example if you do not want uh, uh, the, the uh, you know the elements to be shown uh, uh, in any other category other than the category that you have restricted it to well then make sure that you do skip rules so that it definitely gets printed uh, on the dedicated page that you are building so uh, think of it the possibilities are quite literally endless go ahead and explore generate short codes and uh, thank you so much for watching i really hope that you enjoyed learning more about campaign short codes right here